What's up guys? Welcome back to our Baja Raptor adventure. We are now in Los Bariles. What's no, the plan, Jefe? We are gonna go to Sol de Mayo. It's a waterfall about an hour south of here. It's really cool, like you drive in a 20 mile dirt road and then like, I don't know, 20 minute hike. It's, it's pretty rad. This was a pretty cool little spot. Swimming under a waterfall, bunch of little fish swimming around. Definitely worth the hike in. I guess we'll see actually. Careful. We'll see how worth it it is after the hike out, huh babe? Oh yeah, we got quite the hike. Yes. <laughs> What's up guys? I spent two nights here. Yesterday was kind of our down day. Now we are carrying on. Unfortunately, all of today is highway miles, so uh, no real fun dirt. We got about 350 miles to get to the Pacific side over to San Juanico. Hopefully though, we'll get in early enough that we can uh, find a beach to go park on, maybe drive on, have a little fun. Breaking bottles of cars, baby look it's not hard. We just made it over to the Pacific Ocean. No, I didn't, but I spent the last couple miles on the beach, which was wide out, full throttle. And it's windy and kind of chilly compared to the compared to the Sea of Cortez. I bought a kite specifically for this trip, so it might be kite time. You got you gotta get your kite out. Yeah, I think it's kite time. We can fly a kite here for sure. Oh yeah. It's kite flying wind. This would be good stole wind too. If I have my plane here, this right down the beach. Yeah. Yeah, this would be those hero uh like Alaskan landings that we see of all the guys in the wind. Someone decided that they need to really race an EcoBoost against the Raptor R, and it's a Gen 2. Technically same engine, I think Gen 3 makes a little bit more horsepower, but the Raptor R is in a league of its own. We're talking a twin turbo V6 rated at 450 horsepower versus a blown V8 rated at 700. Three, two, one, go. Awesome. The R yarded, but the Gen 3 even yarded the, the, the pre runner, the true pre runner. That was cool. I just love that the pre runner just ran down there and hopped right in line. That's not even a question. So I didn't want to beat him. Oh, that's <laughs> it. Yeah, dude, he was he was in the dust. I mean, even the, even Blaze freaking took off. He was gone. Yeah, that was driving. That was sick. That was so. All right, guys. Welcome to San Juanico. I think our hotel is called the Scorpion Bay and it is blowing wind, which is great for kite flying and great for dust when you're driving. Normally I hate it for flying, but actually down here, it probably would have been a good time to land on the beach. But this is uh, one of our last hotels on the trip. Sounds like there's some ceviche upstairs and that's what we're gonna get into. 
But first, Sergio, you guys realize that you're like the unsung heroes of the Baja Raptor runs because everyone he is here because of you? Yeah, we, we are putting our life in danger sometimes just to make you cool, <laughs> look cool, but it's fun. We love what what we are doing, so it's pretty cool. And Sergio! Yeah. Sergio. It's really fun to have you here in Mexico, so we appreciate hey, that you are here. So, And let me tell you something, I've worked in the film industry in all different places in the world, and I've been actually really, really impressed with what you guys do. <laughs> they are like the epitome of lean mean, and you know what you're doing, and they're on point. So. Thank you. Some props to you guys, and if you haven't checked out the videos that they make for the Baja Raptor runs, go check them out and go check out Rada, Rada Media? Rada Media. Rada yeah. Media, because yeah. they make good stuff. And good morning, guys. So we are in kind of a rural area, very rural area. I can't say kind of. And we brought a bunch of stuff to give back to the local school here. So Haley's been going through and organizing some of the stuff. We brought a, a bunch of basketballs, some soccer balls, a bunch of coloring sets. What else? Um, we brought um, paint brushes, paint kits, yeah. um, coloring books, pencils, pens, papers, stuff for school. Just a bunch of little things. So we're going to go to the school here. And then I guess the next town up, there isn't technically a school there, but there are a bunch of kids that could use supplies and materials for their parents that I believe homeschool them. And also, everyone's told me that the kids here just love stickers, like more than anything. And I don't really have stickers. So before this trip, I was like, how am I gonna come up with a sticker design? And uh, I ended up using AI to come up with these things. Haley grabbed some too, but I literally uploaded a photo of my truck to Mid Journey, the, the art generator, and said, imagine this truck as a sticker driving in the Mexican desert. And this is what it came up with. And it literally took, I don't know, what was it? Maybe 15 minutes from start to finish to design a sticker. I sent it off to my buddy uh, with a company called Sticker Pack. He was able to print those. I had stickers in hand from inception to stickers in hand in like a couple hours. It was ridiculous. It brought up this whole topic of what kind of makes the, the hair on the back of my neck raise of how AI is going to be changing things for us pretty quickly here. And kind of whether you like it or not, you better get ready, you better learn how to use it because it's gonna change some things. Anyway, hopefully we can uh, pass out some of these stickers to the kids, get them stuck on things. Trey's already got one on his truck, which I'm proud of. You need to get one of mine. Yeah, you I do. need one of your stickers. Is it AI generated though? No, it's not. So you gotta, so. you gotta step up the game, make the robots do it for you, but anyway, uh, 100, it sounds like, miles of dirt today. It's our last day on the dirt, working our way up to the Bay of LA, and continuing our way north towards the border. He knows that you are coming from really far and bringing all these things from really far. He, he and all the kids really appreciate uh, that, your help, and uh, the school is always open for you when you want to come back. And that was really cool. That, that was rad. That was worth the stop and worth hauling stuff down, give back a little bit. Same time, it makes me feel kind of bad. I like forget, you know, yeah. what we have. Yeah. yeah. But those kids are freaking happy. The next town we're going to is 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 much poorer than this one, so we did save some supplies and definitely some stickers for the kids. 
You trace it, the next one's like a really poor fishing village. Then they get really excited when anyone comes through town, so that, that should be fun. It's rad, it's rad. I like it. Now, we were, we were gonna have Haley more involved, except she found a long-haired chihuahua right before this. Still looking for it. <laughs> Trying to steal someone's dog. She, this is a, a common thing that she finds lost animals that are not lost. They're in someone's front yard and she steals lost, them. Lost, not lost. And then I have to go make her give them back. <laughs> I can't handle it. I'm opening up a rescue and coming down to Mexico and taking it. Oh, Starbucks takes too long, just think back to this place and you really appreciate how easy you have it and how how much we take for granted what we have in the United States. That was really cool. That was really cool. Really cool. Yeah, they were excited. Super, super. I got one more treat for one more pero. For Turns pero. Out <laughs> they don't like treats down here. I think everyone's a little worn out. Jerry, but are you tired yet? We uh, huh? just completed the last day, last full day looks like here in Baja. It's a little bittersweet, dude. It's a little sad. Lie. Every year it's the same, man. Like it's, it's uh, you're ready to go home, but you're ready to stay for another month. So I know. today I'm feeling ready to go home, though. Like but this yeah. is a great way to cap it off. Like overlooking Bay of LA, it's just an awesome spot. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna uh, rally into town tomorrow. I guess we got a early morning and a long road drive back to the border crossing, which sounds like could be eventful. So. Shortest border weight ever. We hit border gold today. I've never had a weight that short, except for during COVID. That was amazing. <laughs> 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Yeah. That's awesome. I will take it. That's a win. I waited an hour and a half last week. Like, that is insane. Full win. Through the border crossing, it was like clear sailing. And I can finally say it, dude. Not a single tire popped on this no whole tire. trip. Yeah. That's that's a first for you? First. Yeah, I've never had a... That is awesome. Yeah. Everyone that brought dual spares uh, just carried a bunch of extra weight you didn't need. But uh, better to have it and not need it. And the blowfish made it. Blowfish made it, my fish made it, <laughs> all the stuff. Well, Trey, thank you, yeah, dude, man. Thank so you for much. Coming. It was an awesome trip. Yeah. Like, I really I, appreciate y'all coming. I had a great time with y'all. So. Honestly, what you do with this whole adventure is amazing. Anyone that is thinking about doing it, you're not going to have me talk you out of it. Definitely go check out Baja Raptor Runs and Texas Raptor Runs. I'll put a link to all Trey's stuff down below. And now we've just got a clean 11 hour drive home. Yeah, no big deal. I'm flying home, so. Oh, you're nice. So our plan is we're gonna grab Jerry, get everything loaded back into uh, our truck since he's been co-dog for Trey. And we're gonna start working our way north. Probably aim for like Lone Pine, California or something like that. Well, we have made it to Lone Pine. And uh, Haley's actually never seen Alabama Hills aside from one time when it was so smoky, we couldn't see any of the background, but this puts us right 
with Mount Whitney right at sunset behind us. Pretty awesome view, and I figured this would be a good time to kind of stop and, and reflect on our trip, you know. There's been a bit of a sensory overload. We got to map out a pretty large portion of the Baja Peninsula and truly saw towns that I don't think most people ever get to go through. And you know, a lot of them embraces the off-road world because for a lot of them, the Baja 1000 or, or 500 or 250, any of those races, a lot of times are kind of the highlight of their year. So it's really cool to, to go to these communities and, and see how excited they were to see us going through just the other day when we were going through the small little fishing village and the kids were so excited to, to get the stickers and uh, soccer balls that we handed out and they're all telling us to do burnouts. They were just so into it. And just seeing how happy these people can be, it offered a lot of perspective and especially, you know, right in that moment was when we were going through or I was dealing with uh, the kind of wake of this FAA thing blowing up all over the internet. Uh, made me realize that um, there's other people that have bigger problems that, um, you know, seem to be getting by just fine. So it, it was a, a good feeling in a way to know that everything's going to be okay. It could be obviously much worse. I don't want to call the FAA thing a first world problem, but it almost is. And speaking of first world problems, you ever thought to yourself like, hey, my website kind of sucks. Well, uh, it shouldn't have to be that way, thanks to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. And I know you guys have heard me talk about Squarespace before, but I'm gonna tell you about it again because Squarespace truly is the ultimate way to build a website and run your business. You start with one of their award-winning templates. You craft it into your own beautiful, professional-looking website that works on both desktop as well as mobile, and they have features for everything. So it doesn't matter what you're trying to do. If you're Trey and you have the Baja Raptor runs and you wanna be able to book your expeditions coming up on your website. You can do that with Squarespace. So if you haven't yet, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to purchase, make sure you use code Trent Palmer at checkout. That'll get you 10% off and it helps me out a little bit when you do that. And with that, I think I'm going to wrap this video out. Tomorrow's gonna be a boring highway drive home, so I'm not gonna show that. But you guys know the drill. Like this video if you do. Subscribe if you haven't. Come be my wingman. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.